In this video, we're going to work through creating a drawing from a previous part that we've designed and created. This is the parametric bracket that has two different profiles. We created a square profile and this round profile that we can switch between. To get started with our drawing, we're going to create a whole new document. So we'll say File. We can do Make Drawing from Part, or we can say File New and set up a drawing. Since we're already in a part, let's click Make Drawing from Part. We're going to slide over to the Tutorial menu. If you don't have this particular uh, view, you can click the Advanced button on the corner here, and click Tutorial, and we'll click Draw. We'll use this as our template to get started. Click OK. And you should have a document that pops up with a whole bunch of views on the right side. Before we do anything with those views, we're going to set up some document properties. So head over to your options here at the top. And we'll stick to system options. Under drawings, click display style and make sure hidden lines are visible. Under document properties, we want the ANSI standard. So make sure it says ANSI. And we'll go down to units. We're in inches. And we want our decimal places to be two. Click OK. We need to change some properties about our sheet itself. That's this part right here. So let's right click the sheet out here in the view. And then we'll click properties. In the sheet properties, let's select two to one. So we'll make sure that the scale is two to one. We want the third angle projection. And we'd like to see ANSI landscape. Let's apply those changes. And we can start adding views. If your drawing doesn't fit, you can always press F and it should align the drawing to your actual view. At the top, let's go to the View Layout tab. And we'll choose Standard 3 View. So View Layout, Standard 3 View. This is the document that we're using. So make sure you select that part. You can hit the check and it automatically places your objects. If you'd like to position your objects, your views, click over this until you get the four arrow and then you can move your views along with your base view here and get your four arrows and you can slide your parts over. If we'd like to add a sheet that has a few different displays, you can right click the sheet and say add sheet. And underneath our feature manager, you can see that a new sheet has been added. Let's make sure that we're working in this sheet. We can tell at the bottom that it's active. So let's right click and go to properties. This sheet is going to be a one-to-one. -one. And let's make this one be landscape. I'll apply my changes. And we can see that the sheet has changed. We're going to add a base view first. And then we can add projective views from there. So we'll click model view. And again, we're going to use the same document. And click the next arrow. And that'll enable us to select the view that we're looking for. Try to select the front view. And make sure create multiple views is unchecked. We're also going to scroll down to the display style and check hidden lines visible. And if you look, you can use a custom scale and click one to one. We can place our base view. 
and it automatically tries to give you a projected view. So let's put the top view in as well. I'll hit the check and I've got two views. If you automatically have center lines and center marks, that was probably included with the auto insert. You can find this under options, document properties, and detailing. We're gonna change our line styles. So let's go to options, document properties. We'll go to line style and let's click dashed. If we look, we have three things in our list, the type of line, the line length, and then the spacing of the line. We're gonna use A, a normal line. Our line length is going to be 75, and our spacing is going to be negative 0.25. Click OK. The last thing we're going to do to this drawing is add an isometric view. We can do that by looking at the view palette over here on the right side. We've got a few drawings that we can kind of pop right in. So feel free to select the isometric view and literally drag it right in. With this view, we're gonna say hidden lines removed. Isometric views generally don't have hidden lines. You can click OK, and that view is set. If you'd like to adjust the scale for this view, you can click the view, use custom scale, and let's use three quarter scale. User defined, and we'll type in three quarter scale. That should give us a slightly larger view. Now it's time to place dimensions on our part. So we're going to go over to our annotations and hover over model items. When we select model items, we're looking for the entire model. It says import items into all views. Select the marked for drawing icon and eliminate duplicates as shown. Marked for drawing is that first icon. You can see it's automatically placed a few dimensions for us. And we can move these as needed. So get a few of the dimensions in the locations that you like and make sure they make sense for the part. You can generally click and drag to move your dimensions around. If you don't like the way a leader looks, you can left click on a leader line and then go over to your leaders just like a dimension. You can click on this, go to leaders. So to adjust that, go over to your options and in document properties, you can change the leader length. If you don't like the origins, you can always hide those and turning them off. If you'd like to remove a redundant dimension, let's take this 2.5. You can right click that dimension and hide. If you need that particular dimension back, click view, hide show, and then annotations and that should bring that hidden one back into view if you'd like to add in your own reference dimensions you can use the smart dimension tool similar to our sketching and you can click points 
and move your dimension out. You can also use the center marks to create a dimension as well. If you notice that some of the dimensions are gray, that's because they are a driven dimension. So the reference geometries that we import are driven. To change that, you can go to settings and colors, dimensions, imported drawings, and you can change the color here. If you'd like to change the type of leader, let's click this particular dimension and click leaders. And let's say we want an inside dimension. And again, suggest that particular dimension here. We can also right click a view, hover over tangent edges, and click Tangent Edges Removed. That'll ensure that we don't have any conflicting geometries in our view. So if we right click and put Tangent Edges Visible, we can see these lines right here. And when I right click Tangent Edges Removed, they disappear. And that cleans up this face right here. We're going to add a center mark. To this bottom arc, click center mark, and then you can select the edge that you'd like a center mark on. I'm going to use the larger arc or semicircle, and over here where it says display attributes, use document defaults, we're going to uncheck extended lines, and we'll use that small center mark there. We can also go to the sketch toolbar and add our own lines. So let's sketch a single line. We can select that center mark. And you can see we've created a nice center line. We can also, in the annotation tool, use the center line feature here and select our two edges and get a center line for those holes. We're going to save our drawing and make sure it's saved as a solid draw file. And we can see here that it's looking for a solid draw. I'll save that. And it's asking if I need to save the parent document. We'll save it all.